The foreign ministers of Russia and Ukraine have held their first face-to-face -face talks since the Kremlin's invasion, but the two sides failed to make any significant progress. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I've already reached Poland, I the main hub. I trained buses and cars. Countries like it's Moldova, Romania, see. Hungary and Slovakia are also accepting large flows of Ukrainians fleeing the conflict. Some refugees made their way to France the world as well. Seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You're in their basements without you gas or electricity after coming under shelling from the Ukrainian machines. Two people were shot dead while trying to escape the city via a green corridor. Very few so far have managed to successfully leave. Some who have. is protected. It's shocking because it kills children, babies, newborns, women in labor. I hope we will find out. Sometimes you need to go. Take a step back to see the truth around you. From a distance, you can tell. It's also a question of the resilience of democracies. At the summit, we will rethink European defense, the strong capacity. We will rethink energy. We have to get rid of the dependency of Russian fossil fuels and for that we need massive, massive investment. In renewables, this is also a strategic investment in our security and our independence. It creates jobs at home and it is homegrown. We're independent. And we will also... Blue!